what's up sagittarius kings queens and everything in between i am austria of unbothered goodness i'm austria of unbothered queen and today i will be channeling the collective of sagittarius sun moon rising venus and mercury in regards to love for a general versus message for the 26th of the first Please keep in mind the time frame is specifically for me. And whenever you see this message, that's when you are meant to see it. It could be past, present, or future. All right. This is a mutual energy between you and the person that's most prevalent on your mind. So take it as it resonates. Okay, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. For clear and concise messages for Sagittarius, Sun and Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for putting concise messages. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Somebody's being very prideful. All right. We got family, home, commitment. All right. So this is about your safe space. Okay. We got the dark side, moon, and the shadow side. So, could be done with the Cancer, but this is like my Nine of Cups card in this deck. So, this is the energy of, you know, wanting to either have clarity about something or an energy where you have clarity about something, right? And you're releasing something in order to have your peace here. Yes, yeah, see, look, third eye clarity in the reverse here. So, I feel like this is definitely that energy of... Wanting to need that clarity here. We got renewal and spark. So the overall energy, I feel like um, you guys are either getting back together with someone or you're trying to figure out if you want to move back towards some sort of energy. Some of, some of you have kind of wished off fucking love and it's like, it's like, um, do I want to get back into that? Do I care about this motherfucker's favorite color? You know, we got transcendence and unity. All right, listen, work for me, honey. Okay. Okay, so we have compassion and nurture in the reverse. We got sun strength and empowerment, and that's Leo's energy. We also have illusion, um, Neptune, and confusion. Again, um, this is in the reverse, and this is Piscean energy. So I feel like it's like, you know, not wanting to um, put forth effort towards something anymore because you're unsure of it. Um, a lot of you could be avoiding something here or this person can be avoiding here. It could be avoiding this union here um, because a lot of you could feel like, you know, with this differences here, it's like you guys are moving from a relationship that you feel like you know you and this person are too different so you're deciding that you know you need to move away from this even though some of you are kind of deciding that you want to move away from it i feel like it's not you being completely honest about why some of you are like i just don't want to be here i just don't need to be here um we got settlement agreement compromise legal court with court paperwork file so some of you could be taking someone to court some of you this is like a high level um commitment um leaving some sort of high level commitment possibly due to some sort of um infidelity here or like coming to some sort of terms or agreements here all right and but i also think that whoever was in a place where someone's feelings weren't really um at the forefront someone really wasn't showing that they care this could be you or your person it's like someone is ready to do that now someone is ready to express their feelings express their desires um for a person all right let's get your person's intention here sag see we got cuffing season the season for relationships are coming up um, coming together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract, love story, a true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. Now, this is my third, um, party card in this deck Well, one of them. And I feel like this person is wanting to come back towards you, even if they could have possibly had some sort of third party, or even if they're still going to put you in a third party, this person is still trying to come back. And so fucking be cautious when it comes to that. Okay. All right. Let's see. A little bit more about their intentions here. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 
and Mercury. Thank you. All right. So we got the, what's that? That's the Page of Pentacles, I think. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, childish as fuck. With the Queen of Cups. Okay. So it's like somebody is curious about having some sort of relationship with you or being open with you. Could be dealing with the Cancer here or a Gemini. Somebody's um, interested or uh, they don't. It's like somebody puts in just enough effort with you is the energy I'm getting. It's like, you know because they they want to kind of see where this is gonna go or they're kind of interested in you or um kind of wanting to you know see where things go but it's like they're not really really willing to put in that much effort towards this for some of you this is a energy of like um it's like being open right and i feel like this person isn't isn't that they they aren't really open um here to you And it could be because of previous situations. It could be because they're different, dealing with multiple people. Some of you are dealing with someone that has children um, that could be dealing with their child's parent here. Um, okay. We got the Hermit in the reverse, which is Virgo energy. The Ten of Wands here in the reverse. And the uh, Queen of Wands here. Pisces, Aries energy. All right. So I feel like this person wanted to have some sort of high level connection with you. Um, in the recent past, this was something that they were manifesting, right? But I feel like they were manifesting this for all the wrong reasons. You know, this could have been a very sexual relationship that you have with this person. But it's also like this person was in an energy where it's like, it's almost like they wanted to take you from someone for some of you. Um, also, it's like someone is like, this person, they were unhappy. They were lonely by themselves, right? It was like... um. They were very lonely by themselves and it's almost a sense of like wanting it's, it's like somebody that wasn't really ready for a relationship in the first place when they started coming towards you this just real weird yo okay let's get your intention here all right so we got catfish someone is not who they appear to be searching online looking for info records holding on it hurts to let go but sometimes it hurts more to hold on so i feel like you guys are in a place where you're trying to figure out who you're dealing with or what you're dealing with. You're also trying to figure out if you want to keep holding on to this person, if this relationship is worth it, right? All right, let's see. Let's get some messages here. Thank you, Spirit. For clinical precise messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Horizon, Venus, and Mercury. Thank you so much. Thank you. Give me more here. What's the intention of Sagittarius spirit? What's the intention of Sagittarius? All right. So we got the nine of wands here in the reverse, the seven of wands here, and the lovers. Okay. You know, I feel like this is definitely that energy where it's like you're tired of dealing with someone, right? Um, and I feel like you're in a place where it's like you're guarding yourself I'm sorry. You're guarding yourself away from this person. You could be dealing with a Gemini here with the lover's card. But it's like you're... It's like I know that I deserve better, right? I deserve better than someone that doesn't know whether or not they want this relationship or not. And a lot of you are in a place where this is what you want. You want a union. You don't want something that is going to keep on failing here. You want something that is going to actually... Um, uh, be some sort of mutual connection here and i feel like a lot of you are tired of dealing with people that have asked a relationship with you and you're trying to get towards something else something I'm, I'm getting like it's like the sense of like thicker stronger something like that committal that committal energy right we got the page of cups the three of pentacles in the reverse and the knight of swords here capricorn energy as well as aquarius so i feel like a lot of you could have been in a place where you were trying it was like you were obsessively um thinking about a certain type of relationship that you really wanted to make work right i feel like there was a lot of um intense focus on making this relationship work here um i feel like it could have even been a little bit obsessive even though you knew that you know 
even though it was a challenge and even though there was um possibly for some of you you felt like a, it was a bit of an incompatibility here with this relationship and i also felt like there was a lot of conflict um to do with this relationship as well and it could have been it was like a lot of apologies were offered um as well as there being an energy where um there you someone was getting offers of like the relationship or sexual offers outside of this relationship all right let's get your challenge here your person's challenge so we got confusion confusion and conflict may be going on at this time what the fuck did i just say y'all crushed sad broken feeling alone what did i say y'all twin flame i remember who you are i've loved you before so this could be a twin flame union here because you know um it's always a runner and a chaser in that dynamic so this person could be struggling with that you know struggling with the fact that this is a twin um flame union here um and they could be confused, you know, uh, because they they definitely did something here in this relationship that caused it to, well, they could have, okay, okay. You could have been at fault as well, but it's not like this person wasn't at fault at all, if you get what I'm saying, right? So it's definitely an energy where it's like this person is trying to overcome some of their feelings here, and that's challenging here. They, they are unsure if they can. I'm also getting like this person is unsure if they can get you back. Some of you kind of turned your back on this person. Um, some of you could have possibly even cheated on this person, and this person's trying to figure out how to overcome this because for some reason this person feel, still feels connected to you. We got the Ten of Swords here. We got the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. See? Yeah. So, um, this is definitely that energy of, you know, somebody's like standing their ground, right? And saying what it is and what it's going to be. And with the Eight of Wands, I'm sorry, Eight of Cups in the reverse, this is the sense of someone, things not moving forward, some sort of an abandonment here. And also a sense of like someone not wanting to be committed to this relationship, someone not wanting to move forward. You see, she's sad, but she's sad because she feels rejected, right? She's disappointed. Um, she feels like there's some sort of separation here. And that's what I'm getting. Like there's definitely some sort of separation where I feel like this person is trying to overcome this separation. Um, it's like you guys aren't seeing eye to eye. And, and it's like, even if what is being said is true or um, gives a sense of clarity, it's still not easy to hear. We got the King of um, Swords here, Taurus, Gemini energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, your energy, Sagittarius, as well as Capricorn. Then we have the Knight of Wands here. So in the recent past, I feel like this person, okay, for some of you, and I, this is not for all, but you guys take this shit as it resonates. Somebody here got someone pregnant or became pregnant as a ploy to keep this relationship going right it was some sense of a form of manipulation now, i'm not blaming pregnancy or or anything on anyone i'm just telling you where this person's mind was y'all take that shit as it resonates so um this was definitely an energy where it was like this person was being everything that they felt like they could be to like pull you in even if what they were offering you wasn't completely true right I'm also getting like this person plays a lot of mind games here, right? Um, possibly very mentally ab abusive here. Um, you could definitely be dealing with their child's parent. Mm. All right, let's get your challenge here, Sagittarius. All right, so we got performer, entertainment industry, uh, done lesson, I'm sorry, completion lesson learned, fatal event. I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. So some of you are in a place where you're trying to get over the fact that this person is done or you're trying to get over the fact that you're done. I'm getting the sense that you're kind of faking it till you make it in regards to this relationship, right? Like, um, I need to figure it out, right? I'm, I just need to figure it out. Thank you, Spare, for clean, concise messages. Thank you for clean, concise messages. Thank you, Spare, for clean, concise messages. Sounds here, Give me more about their challenge. 
All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. All right, so it could be done with the Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus here. And this is the sense of like trying to figure out what you want to do right i feel like you guys aren't really talking much about um how you want to move forward but it's a, definitely an energy where do i want to put in do i want this to progress right do i want this to work out do i want this to be a stable relationship that's those are the questions that you're asking yourself like do you want this with this person to be successful or do you want to move on and be independent and work on yourself work on your own finances to figure out exactly what you want moving forward some of you could be dealing with the pisces all right yeah all right so in the recent past we got the higher fun i'm here with taurus energy um also capricorn leo taurus aquarius scorpio energy with the um world so i feel like this person um or you were in an energy where it was like you could have had a lot of options a lot of choices here um in regards to relationships or in regards to what you wanted i feel like a lot of you kind of made the choice that you wanted some sort of stable connection um but i don't know it's something about like i feel like you like some of the sorry some of you could have ended it with some with a lot of people right you could have ended it with a large deal of people just to have this commitment here um for others this is a sense of like it's like you are happy to like finally like have something real i finally have like family home and commitment right finally have something that you felt like was going to be progressive something that was going to move forward here All right, let's see what your person's actions are. All right, so we got purify, pure, purify your energy and aura, desire, love, sexual chemistry, waiting, waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. So I feel like this person may be trying to call you back in with sex for some of you. For others, this is the energy where this person is acting like they don't care, um, having sex with other people while they're waiting for you to make up your mind or waiting for you to um, decide if you want to be with them or not. Thank you, Spirit, for coming precise messages for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Moon, and Mercury. Give me more here in regards to their actions during this time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we got the Seven of Pentacles here, which is definitely waiting energy. We got the Knight of Swords here, which is Capricorn energy as well as Aquarius. And then we have the Chariot here. All right, so you know, this person is definitely trying to manifest something to change, right? Something to move forward here in this relationship, right? I feel like, yeah, they do know that this is a period where they are waiting and they're, um, how can I say that? Where they're trying to plan and figure out how they're going to like move this forward right now, right? I feel like that's, that's what this person's energy says. They're, they want to know that they can come into alignment with you again and actually progress in this opportunity to love you and this opportunity to have some sort of stable connection or commitment with you. And this is something that I feel like they're obsessively thinking about, something that they have so much intense focus on right now. But the thing is with this person that I feel like they don't do the work, right? Like, even if you cheated or whatever, there are still issues in this relationship. Let's work on those issues. This person is in an energy where it's like, no, I just want us to be back together, to say we back together, just for things to look good on the outside. Like, I just want us to be together. I don't want to have to work towards anything. I don't want to have to work towards the relationship to get us on the same accord. None of that. And that shit is not okay. All right. Okay. So I feel like you and this person could have been on some breakup to make up shit. Um, especially with this judgment card here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with the Capricorn, um, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or an Aries. Um, I feel like there was the energy of someone putting in a lot of effort. Um, 
um, to really move something forward, even though that they were really afraid here, right? With the fool in the reverse, this is somebody that is, you know, afraid of, of change here. So again, someone that isn't completely open to this relationship, but it was also like this person did not want things to be done with you, right? So they were okay with like working toward the relationship. Like I said, it's like root issues that aren't getting taken care of, right? There's a lot of things that need to be taken care of that aren't which is the biggest issue that this, i feel like this person um has like the it's like okay you're you you want to put in the work towards the relationship but you don't really want to work on any of the issues like everything that they want to work on is like more so surface level i don't know why i'm getting that like intense into this here but yeah i feel like this person has a lot of issues within themselves that they deal with with abandonment um and things like that that they need to focus on as well all right so we got celebrating there will be a reason to celebrate denial not facing truth rational reasoning escapism i'm constantly distracting uh distracting myself to relieve the pain of my my reality so some of you could be drinking more um you could be smoking more um something that keeps you in a place of not thinking about this situation with this person but i do need you to understand that you there will be a reason to celebrate soon you have to acknowledge what's going on with you acknowledge the feelings that you feel in order for you to move forward okay let's go ahead and get a little bit more about your actions here what's going on with Sagittarius? here is here spirit thank you for clear and concise messages thank you all right so we got the four of wands here we have the two of cups in the reverse and we have the ace of cups in the reverse so i feel like you know I feel like you're confident um, that you've made the right des decision in regards to this relationship, right? And for some of you, this is the energy where I feel like eventually you're going to celebrate this decision. You're going to celebrate this breakup. You're going to celebrate the fact that you um, walked away or released this love here that you felt like wasn't um it wasn't the love that you wanted right i feel like this this relationship was very emotionally exhausting for a lot of you and this is why this imbalance came in and this is why this was su such a disconnection here because of um certain levels of codependency here some of you could be dealing with a scorpio um a pisces or a cancer here but also, I feel like a lot of you could be drinking right now, though, due to the fact that, you know, or sus whatever substance you're using, due to the fact that there is uh, an ending here. It's like you're trying to numb that pain. The fact that something isn't working out the way that you wanted it to or the way that you thought it would. All right, let's go ahead and, and see here. Thank you, Spirit, for clear concise messages. Thank you. Thank you. Give me more hair. Give me more hair. All right, so we got be more selfish. Yeah, Satch. Focus on yourself, baby. You know? This love scares me. And that 11, that's that twin flame energy. And that could be true to your person, which is why, you know, they make it difficult. But again, I meant what I said. And this is that energy of being selfish, focusing on your own self-interest, your own ambition. I feel the same way. We got, I don't want to lose you. Okay, so definitely in the energy where you and this person may just need to have a conversation because they do want to have something stable with you. Some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. And then we got, I am absolutely in love with you. But I really get like this person doesn't scream that shit from the rooftops. Like you need somebody that's going to scream that shit from the rooftops. This person wants to be mute and um, quiet with that shit. No, that shit's not going to work for me. That's not the energy that I bring, and that's not the energy I want to accept, honey. All right. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius here with the Jupiter energy. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, so we got Aries. Could be dealing with one of those signs. All right. Could be dealing with the Leo. Could be dealing with the Libra. Damn. Or you could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. Wow. Y'all tell me how that should be working with them fire signs on fire signs. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.